Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, I would like to share how to create a progress bar that could show the progress of the hub when Micro is running. Let's proceed to the Developer tab and Visual Basic. We should first insert a user form. To show the progress, we need two labels. Let's insert the first label, insert at the desired place. Under the properties of label 1, change the back color. We can change to palette white. Next, delete the caption and scroll and look for special effect. Change to sunken. After that, insert the second label. Cover the first label. Repeat the same steps. Change the back color, select palette and select the desired color. Delete the caption as well as change the special effect. And this time we should change to rise. Click on the user form and we should remember to change the show model to false. And we can now write the code. Double click on the module or any procedure that we wish to show this progress bar. To show the progress, we must first call the user form. Before the task is started, we should call the user form. So we have user form one dot show and the progress should be updated within the loop. The code should be placed before the next round, which means that it's here. To show the progress, we can make use of the width of the second label. So we have user form one dot label two dot width and we set equal to we should bear in mind that the maximum width of this second label should be as much as the first label so we have user form one dot label one dot width but then the width of the second label should be affected by the full loop so we should make some calculation here we times i that is the progress divided by the total rounds that we have for this case we have 543 in order to ensure that we are able to see the progress, before changing the width, we can add one code, that is to events. On the other hand, if we want to show the progress in first, let's back to the user form, insert another label, insert at the desired place. Under the properties of label 3, choose the font, the font style or even the size if needed. Select the desired style and click on OK. Choose the left position of the label if needed. We can adjust the height of the user form if needed. And now back to the coding part. Before the next round, we should show the progress in first. So we have user form one dot label three dot caption for this case, and we set equal to the progress. That is i divided by total number of rounds, which is five hundred forty three. If you want to show in terms of percentage, we should times one hundred. A problem that we might be facing is this calculation might produce infinite number of decimal places. If you want to show exactly one decimal point, instead of using the function round, we could use the function format, bracket, move to the end, comma, and now type the format that we want. Make sure input as string. We need quotation mark. Use hashtag for any number, followed by decimal point and zero to indicate exactly one decimal point. Close quotation mark and close bracket space, and we could use the emphasis to connect the string or any information that we want. Also, make a quotation mark before the text. We can have the symbol of the percentage space followed by the information, for example, completed. Full stop and close condition. And the coding part is now considered done. Before we check the result, if we wish to close the user form, that is the progress part, we should unload it. So we should type unload user form 1. Of course, we could alert the user by using a bit sound. Let's run and see the result. As we can see, the progress is running while micro is running. And the user is able to hear a bit sound when it is completed. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.